Okay guys, so um, I'm going to be doing a video on uh, how I start my garden stuff. Um, a lot of people have asked me how I get it started and then um, some people have seen when they go by my house and <laughs> my whole window is lit up. So I, we are now in, oh I normally start sooner than this, we normally start around the beginning of February, we are February 21st. So I normally start right around my son's birthday, which is February 9th. So I'm running about a week or two behind on my garden stuff, but um, I am going to get it started because it's, it's necessary. So um, February is a good time to start, um, February is a good time to start any er any herbs or um, which will be inside plants or um, peppers, any of your peppers. Uh, sometimes I have started tomato plants, um, but I almost like start one thing, I wait a week or two and I start another thing so that not all of them are trying to come up at the same time and I can gradually get them into the garden when it gets to planting time. And so I will be starting peppers now. And then uh, about my birthday in a week or two, we have school off and I will probably do my tomatoes then because I normally do a lot of tomatoes and my husband's actually asked me almost every year, can we not do as many tomatoes? And then I'm like, I love my tomatoes. I can't, I even try to add every year, I think, add a different kind of tomato. This year I'm adding, um, I can't even remember what it's called right now. You good? It's not in my pile. So, uh, I am going to start some of my herbs in my, my pots. And then I am also starting peppers in containers. So let's get started. Hey, I'm Lindsay. I am a stay-at-home wife, homeschooling mom of two, a mom to twins stillborn, and a miscarriage, a personal trainer, gardener, and nutrition coach. I am out to help you feel healthy and get healthy enough to tackle the rest of your world. All right, so some of the supplies you're going to need for this is obviously some dirt. You're going to need something to put it in if it's a pot. Um, we have done uh, the red Dixie cups. They also now have like small itty bitty ones. They are, I wanna say just a little bit tinier than these. Um, and you can actually label those better. I prefer doing it in the Dixie cup. My husband prefers doing it this way. Um, so I have to not to fight and we're doing it this way. Um, Dixie cups you can label. They do, it doesn't get like changed up to where you don't know what one object is and another object is. So that's a per choice what you want to put them in. You can put them in a cartons. Um, you can put them in I've seen people put them in toilet paper rolls. So, I mean, you can find what you want and you can make it that way. I think there's a new one where you can do it in newspaper. If you're going to put the cart, the container in the ground, you need to make sure they're biodegradable. So, and that, that means that they would break down in the dirt. Um, let's see. The other thing that I do, you have to make sure you have seeds order them in advance um, or go to Menards or Walmart or Dollar Tree or whoever around you might have like a big batch. I think Dollar Tree has four for a dollar. I think it's four for a dollar right now. So you can like go and pick and then it's per dollar. Having four packages like these. Um, for, for, for a dollar. 
also have index cards. These are the big ginormous ones. And then a pen, a marker, and tape. Uh, you will need a container to put your cups of whatever in. This, these are the containers for the biodegradable cups. And then um, this has like a bottom area that holds water. Um, so that would be what the um, these containers do. And uh, you can easily get a towel. I've done it that way. You get a towel, Dixie cups, put them in. That was our cheap beginner's version of this. Um, so if you want to just start from somewhere, you can. I wanted to make sure you guys were still ready. We're bouncing around today. Okay, so at this point, um, I went ahead and did this. So I'm going to explain what I do with my dirt. Um, I take my, some dirt, I fill it into a bowl big enough to go into a microwave. I put water in it and I heat it up. Now why do I do that? Dirt that comes in a bag comes with bug seeds. Sorry, not seeds, bug eggs. Okay, and if you warm it up, it will kill off those bug eggs. And I think last year I did not do this. And I think once they get to a certain size, I just dump the bag in. Like when I take them outside and I put, I just put the bag in outside. But when I have them this small in these containers, last year I did not do it and I started noticing a bunch of bugs. And, and so I am kind of trying to keeping the bugs from taking over my plants. And so I have warmed up my dirt with some water and you, yes, I'm using a spoon instead of a shovel. That is another thing you might want because it will be easier into the little smaller containers. And I just stir it around. And as I keep going, if I need more dirt, then I go do the same thing. Okay, so then I, I'll do one of the big ones. So I take the dirt and I put them in. Okay, so if you happen to mislabel a plant, eventually you'll be able to tell what that plant is. Is it tomato? You'll be at least able to tell if it's a tomato or not. Um, other than, I want to take this down just a tiny bit. Um, just for the fact of water at the beginning and then it will eventually go down a little bit more and um, but that way my seedlings don't go over the side when I wet water them so uh, what was I talking about <laughs> oh you'll be able to tell what they are be as far as if it's a tomato plant or a uh, broccoli or whatever, eventually by the leaf structure. Now, I might not be able to tell if it's a Roma or a Candyland Red or a um, Better Boy. I might not be able to tell the difference between the tomatoes, but I will at least know it's a tomato if I get it mislabeled. Um, so anyways, so I was saying that I take it just a little bit further down. Now this dirt will settle throughout the next few weeks as I water it. And then I will probably add a little bit more. I normally add a little bit more dirt because that way the seeds are on top. The roots are going to go down, yes, but I want to make sure that the roots are in 
the dirt and really in the dirt, not like really loose. They can come out. So I got my jar. These jars are for my inside herbs. So this one, um, I, I normally have some like little sticks that I can stick in here. Um, but I don't have those. And I am going to be very, very honest with you. Oregano. Last year I tried this and I liked doing it better that way. Some people just put, sprinkle just a little bit and then, and then just, you know, you have a little bit. But if you take it and you really scatter it, like, you know, that salt and pepper, like really, like you're gonna see it all. I don't know if you can see it over here. Bring you to the light. You kind of see the red dots. Let's see if I can get it to become clear. Focus camera, focus. Anyways, you kind of see the red dots here. That is my seeds. And that is about what I do with my herbs. Move you back. So I get that in and when I get them all done, then I will, um, then I will, uh, water them. I do not have my sticks. Normally I have my sticks, so I'll have to let my husband know, but I, for now, will at least mark a card underneath it. So I know this is oregano. I didn't feel like it was colored by the way. FedEx flying down oregano and it is the Italian style uh, and that way I know what it is so when I do get my six I can relabel it and then um, put them in so I have literally have it this way uh, again these will get sticks the little ones I do a different way so let me show you how I do that All right, so I'm gonna take my little pot. And I'm going to really fill this guy up. Like really, really full. It will take any like big wood chips out. But otherwise, I mean, he's like almost like an even ice cream cone. And then I will, this is going to be a pepper. All right, we did not have a good turnout on this guy. So I really would like to have this guy this year because we didn't get him to come out last year. All right. Only have a couple of seeds left here. All right. So I'm going to put three in. I'm going to push it just a tiny bit with my finger, just a tiny bit. Okay. And I'm gonna take this guy, and I only have three left. Make it in. Oh, I have four, because these stick into the tape up here. Okay, so I have four left. I'm only gonna use three. I, I really wanted to try these. And I'm just gonna slightly push down. So you can kind of see, here's a seed. There it is. Okay. So you can see like this one. It's in there. It's in a tiny hole. So it's not going to come over the sides when I go to water them. 
And then I take my marker and I'm going to mark on the corner that this is number one tray. This is the front. This is my right. This is my, this is not for me. Left. I'm going to flip it around. This is my back. This is much easier if you can write on the Dixie Cups. This is not for me. This is for my husband, who likes to move my plants around. Okay, so tray number one. I'm gonna put it, because I put it on the front left corner, I put number one. And then on the front, I'm gonna write front of my card. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, means I'm going to write an R for the right, an L for the left, and back for the back. Okay, I'm going to take a line and I'm going to go right down the middle. Now, does it have to be perfect? No. First one of the back, this is on the back side, I'm going to put that I put the mini bell peppers. Mini bell peppers. So, because I had it on a card last year and my husband moved it and then we no longer knew what they were. <laughs> And I knew what they were when they were in the right spot, but when they get moved, I don't know anymore. So this is how I will do the rest of them. And then uh, when I get done, okay, why do I need tape? The tape I'm going to put on the back of, like if they're, it's not sticking anymore, like last year we had brand new packages of these and I had to rip it open. Now they're not going to stick. Now you need tape so that they're not coming out. So this is how I do my planting. And I'm just going to keep on rolling here. So I have all of the small ones in this one tray. So I did not do a second tray at all. I did all of this first tray. And I do have more peppers that need to get planted. I am just going to do one tray at a time. This keeps me from becoming overwhelmed with trying to get everything done. I also did all six cups. Uh, I got parsley, flat leaf, and basil, Italian, large leaf, and I've got cilantro, and I've got oregano, Italian. This is thyme, it is winter, and then I've got another basil over here, and it is sweet. And then in these pots, I have mini bell pepper chocolate cherry tomato now i didn't plan on it but it was already it happened i normally try to keep my tomatoes separate but this is a manila envelope one and i just plant them all together so then the next one is kung pao pepper 
and Pepper Joe's Giant Jalapeno Pepper, and Sweet Banana, and Lilac Bell, so no, Sweet Banana, the Chinese Five Collar Pepper, then Lilac Bell, then Chocolate Bell. So that's what I have. And I still have some over here to get to. So um, I am going to chop my head off at this point, but I want to show you. I have them all in there. If I put it inside here, if you have the Dixie Cup ones, drill a hole in the bottom. Those are much better. They're durable. They can handle it. But if I put water in here, these containers start crumbling after a while. So I am just going to fill up a spray container. If you have chemicals in there, make sure you thoroughly clean it out. Then I'm going to take this, make sure I soak the seeds. Now, if I'm going to be gone for a few days, I will fill up the bottom and let it go. But since I will be here tomorrow, I am just going to soak this up and let it, I'm gonna just let it go. I'm gonna water it real good. Tomorrow I'll come over and give it a few spritz. And I make sure about the same time every day I come over, I will put it in my planner and make sure that it all gets well taken care of. And then if your house is a very dry house, um, last year it seemed to be that our house was really dry, I will actually maybe water them twice a day. Sometimes it got to the point I would water them and then when my husband got home, he would water them. And they would be well watered. All right, so I have this light that I put out. I kind of move it around every single day. I readjust it according to what I think. Like I see that this one's not getting a lot and these other ones are, so I will, so like this one's not getting a lot and these other ones are, so I'll probably just like move them around they keep their cards with them and so I have it I really like these bendable ones because I can put it like right I literally put it right up against for the seeds starting and then once they get bigger and bigger and bigger I bring them up this not only will warm them up by having it against it but it gives them that light that they need it's supposed to be about two inches away from them so i keep it this way here it will warm them up and it will all just they'll all grow all right guys i hope that really educated you on how i do my seeds they are not hard it's just somewhat time consuming um and i just do a little bit like today i had time we're not going anywhere i had time i made time and i knew i needed to do video and i just did it while i was doing my video um, I could, I used to do this while juggling school. I would, you know, do one or two pots. I'd go and do something else with a kid and back and forth. You can do it on like a Sunday afternoon. Plan that like this Sunday you're going to do it in the afternoon and then do two more weeks. In two more weeks, you do it on a Sunday afternoon. Um, that's how, normally how I do it. I don't do it all at one day. It takes me, it took me about an hour and a half to do what I did. 
and I still have two more cartons to do. So I have like three more weeks worth. I will probably, or no, a month left basically. I have about a month left in, of planting uh, seeds and then I will be done planting seeds and whatever's left goes straight sewed into the ground. Um, but I hope that helps you understand that it's really not hard. Everybody can do it. Um, my kids used to help me. They, my son came over here and he goes, Oh, uh, brownie. <laughs> no. So they know that I mix the water in and make it look like a brownie mix and it's not hard. So, um, everybody can do it. If you can plant a plant, you can plant a seed. So I hope everybody has a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.